Hey guys, it's Fancy Simmer and welcome back to another speed build. So today I am doing my favorite of things. I'm making a modern home. Now this one was like a little more on the extravagant side, or at least for, for me it was. So it wasn't as uh, basic, I guess, as some of the other ones I've made, but it took a really, really long time because I was like really busy. Um, but I really wanted to make another build. I know I made that little starter home, but that one didn't take me nearly as long as like you know, some of, you know, something like this. This takes me a while. It took me maybe like three full days. Um, a few breaks in between, obviously, but you know, that's a long time. I think this took me longer than any of my other speed builds, but I really like it. I took my time on this one, so uh, I really like it. Or I might take my time on all of them, but I really took my time on this one. So, um, really quick before I forget, because I was thinking of this and I didn't write it down or anything, I know that a lot of people do like uh, those Let's Build series where you basically, it's like real time, it's not sped up, so you basically like watch me build and you give me suggestions and everything like that and we build something together kind of and I think they're really cool and um, I would like to do one actually, like at first I was like maybe not but the more I watch them the more I kind of want to get into it but I don't know if you guys would be interested because I know like my channel wasn't based off of building but I, I really like building so I kind of like want to incorporate it into my channel because it makes me happy so uh, just let me guys, er, let me guys, let me know guys, I think that's what I was trying to say, whatever, let me know if you guys want to see that. And uh, you'll notice that it cuts around a lot in here because it's like, I took <laughs> so much freaking time. Because you guys know how indecisive I am, okay? Um, took so much time going back and forth between things. And believe me, it is just easier to edit it out. Because I, I look at my footage like without editing at all. Just with it all sped up as fast as it'll go. And it's like a 40 to 50 minute video. It is just ridiculously long. Like, I cannot sit there and watch some, something for 40 minutes. Unless it is really interesting. But, um, yeah. So on the bottom there, I end up putting a door in the middle. I was going to put the door on, like, the side of the house. But I thought it would look better just where you could see it. And, uh, the house did expand by, like, one or two, I guess, squares. <laughs> because, uh... In the middle there, the, the windows weren't even, and it was kind of bothering me, so I just did that. And then I remembered that we had these little, like, horizontal stripe-looking windows, and then I was like, oh, we're going to use as many of them as humanly possible. Because I forgot that they existed, and I really like them. I think they look super cool. And then in the back here, um, in a minute, I do kind of, like, expand it, because I thought it just looked too boxy. And so I added, like, a little... This little thing right here. <laughs> it, like, comes out, but, um... Again, I think I did cut it out because it took forever. That was one of the things where like I would work on it and then I had to leave. And so then I would like obviously stop recording and then I would come back to it. But you'll see it in just a second. You should see it like right now. See, so it's a, it looks like the, the front just in the back. Uh, I just wanted a little little spot like poking out because it just looked too like flat. And then here I was adding in all of the lights so that, um, you know, at night it would look pretty cool. I actually think this house looks super awesome at night. I actually like prefer it at night. I think it looks so, so, so cool, which is why I chose uh, like nighttime for the thumbnail. I just think it looks so cool. Um, houses you know, usually look better during the day, but I, I just thought this one looked so awesome at night. I don't know, the lighting just looks really cool. So yeah, I went, I went pretty, uh, pretty drastic with the lighting here, but I, I like it. I, I think it looks pretty cool. Especially on like modern houses, I think it really gives a nice effect. And also like in real life, like I always tell people, I'm like, look, when I get a house, it better have freaking like spotlights on it or something because they look so cool. Like coming from like underneath like the bushes or something. I've seen houses that have those. There's a lot around here that have those and they're so pretty. Your house could not be that, you know, fabulous. But if you added those lights, like it would look fabulous. Like you could fool me into thinking your house was super fab. But uh, yeah, anyways. <laughs> So yeah, I just added like a ton of lights on like the walls and on the bottom. Usually on these houses, I would think about putting them on the roof, but um, well, first off, that doesn't work in this situation because the roofs aren't flat, but um, sometimes it looks cool and sometimes I think it looks kind of weird. So I don't know, it just depends on like the house, but yeah, I did add a lot of lights and sometimes I think they look a little weird because you can see like the little dots, but in this case, I thought it just looked too cool at night to care, or uh, I thought it was too cool at night to care, but it was... It's fine. It doesn't matter. Because, <laughs> like, I, I don't know. You really only see them if you focus on it. And, of course, which I was doing because I knew they were there because I put them there. But other than that, I mean, it looks fine. And then, of course, we have the cool mailbox because we're on, like, the big lot. So 
I love the cool mailbox. Those mailboxes are awesome and I wish my mailbox looked like that because that would be super cool. <laughs> so I was doing some landscaping and I added a little garden over there but I wanted to show you guys this. It's, I don't know, use of floor tiles here which I, I don't do very often. Um, I usually just do terrain painting on the outside but I thought this looked pretty cool with the fountain. I wanted a little fountain out there in the front but I didn't want it to be like uh, one of those ones where you have to like you know, drag it out like the pools because I thought that there was just not that much room. Oh, and this fence, this white fence ends up um, completely changing. I don't record it. I changed it like way after I was done. Like when I was taking the pictures, I was like, that fence looks weird, man. I changed it to a like hedge, like a big or tall hedge, like all the way around. So I ended up changing that. I don't have it recorded, but I promise you, it's changed. You probably saw it in the pictures anyways. But uh, yeah, and then these freaking giant bushes, I always try to get them to work. I don't know, I can't remember, I cannot remember for the life of me if I kept them there or not. I can't remember. I, mm, I don't know, I felt like I would have, like looking at it now I feel like I would have changed it, but I honestly just don't know if I changed it or not. I guess we'll find out, but I feel like I changed them, I don't know. But yeah, I really like the, the little pathway here, and then I do have that same pathway going on in the back. And then here on the side, I have this like, it's kind of repetitive, but like, I don't know, I really like it for some reason. It, it looks very clean. <laughs> and then I added um, I added some different flowers in there too, just like to give it some color. Those like purpley ones, I added those in there and some rocks because it was looking a little too flat. Uh, and, oh, and of course you gotta have my little ferns because I love them, y'all know. Those are my favorite things in the world. In real life, they are literally like little demons. Like if you touch one, like you, it just gonna, it's gonna like literally chop your arm off. They're so sharp. Well, some of them are, but um, well, the ones I guess I've encountered, but whatever. Working on the backyard, I put it a little pool here in the corner. Because, I mean, I don't know. I'm just such a sucker for pools. Such a freaking sucker. I love them. Putting in some lights to match the cool lighting on the house. And tried to put something on the bottom, but it did not look good, in my opinion. And then here come the ferns again, making another appearance. <laughs> and I tried to use that purple bush, because I was like, ooh, something different. But then, in the end... I did not like it. I ended up putting it in the corner, I think, of the backyard. Like the back corner. Right there. Yep. I was right. <sighs> Such good remembering today. But, uh, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> I actually put quite a few trees in, um, this build. Uh, usually I, I don't, I don't usually have that many trees. I don't know, I'm not a huge tree person. But, um, yeah, I have a little path going over there to the pool. And then I put a little jungle gym in here. Or, wait, is that called the jungle gym? Or is the big thing? I don't know, whatever. But that thing, you can see it with your eyeballs. And uh, a little place to sit. Because we had some extra space. And then a grill. Because, again, extra space calls for extra fun time. <laughs> extra fun time. And then I put this little, um, those little pedestal things. Or no, what, columns. Whatever. Whatever you want to call them. And then the little bird bath. Because it is so cute. And I always forget to use it. And I love it. And then I put the little lantern out here on the... Um, table because that thing is my fave right now. It's like my favorite lighting. And then I, okay, listen, I always skip the part where I am doing the walls and it is for your sake. Believe me, it takes me so long. It takes me maybe a full hour to get the, uh, the walls in the right spots because, um, it's, I'm just so freaking indecisive. Like you have no idea. But anyways, I have, how many bath? How many bedrooms are in here? Uh, I can't even remember how many bedrooms. One, two, there might be three? No, I don't know. I don't know, we're just gonna have to watch. I honestly forgot. Um, I kept like, I don't know, I kept like having ideas for rooms, but I was like, mm, we could just, this. I was like, this would make a really good bedroom. And then like half of the rooms would make really good bedrooms. So I made like half the rooms bedrooms, but we do have an office and, um, that yeah just an office I think I was gonna I was going to make a library but I didn't I didn't do it so I mean if you wanted to add a library in here you could totally do that but uh, I for some reason I just like I don't know just wasn't feeling it once I had everything in there I just didn't really go with the theme and the living room I have to say is a little bit weird uh, I was kind of like I don't know about it because it's very tiny there's like this huge space and it's like really tiny but I don't know in the end I mean it I liked it obviously because I kept it 
I kept it like that, but uh, I moved those over there to the corner so the, those little clothes kind of like wrap around the wall. I thought that looked pretty nice. And then some ribbons on the wall as if this was someone's bedroom where they had won some awards. <laughs> Congratulations to whoever gets to live in there. And then here we had a little cubby space so I added in a table and some chairs on the other side. This is like right where you walk in from the front door. And then I made the main wallpaper in this like downstairs large space I don't know what you would call it honestly but I just made it this like really cool red color I thought it looked very modern and uh, yeah I thought it was different because usually I would go for something very neutral and calming but I went for something a little more bold and uh, yeah and then it kept it gave me a lot of like uh, I guess like inspiration to make things a little more colorful I've been working on the what whoa my words all just wanted to form one word um, working on the downstairs bathroom uh, I was originally going to keep everything white, but once I like looked at some of the colors on that shower, they had like this really cool one with like that dark, with that black and that blue, and uh, I was like, oh, now I want everything to be black. So I made everything black and then like that dark blue color, which I ended up loving. This is like one of my favorite bathrooms of all time that I've ever made in my whole life. It is so cool. I don't know why I like it so much, but I do, and I know it's, it's literally just a bathroom. But I'm like obsessed with it. Like this is probably my favorite room in the whole house. I don't know if that's a good thing. But um, I really like this bathroom. Like I really like it. And then like for the upstairs bathroom I was going to do something different. But I ended up going with like the same theme because it was just so cool. And um, I don't know. I guess black would be, you know, considered modern if you had like a bathroom like this. It looks pretty modern to me. So uh, I feel like it definitely goes with the theme. So I'm not just being totally random. But yeah, I really, really like this bathroom. It's super cool. And... The upstairs bathroom, it, it has like the same theme, but I use that um, corner tub that I never use, but it's so cool and I've always, always wanted to use it, but I just always forget it's there. But anyways, here's like the little living room. It is literally just this little tiny space. That is where I chose the living room to be. Out of all the space we had, I chose that little space. <laughs> I mean, there's like all that space over there on the left that you could have chosen, but no, I chose this. I don't know why. I was feeling it. I, I wanted like a little tiny cubby space for a living room I don't know why I don't know why I was feeling that that day but I did, uh, whatever it, it, that's just how it happened but it's pretty cozy um, I kind of like these like little closed-in living rooms I feel like they're they're a little more homey but pretty cool and then I had that little space for like the TV and stuff so it all kind of fit and I really like that rug but I ended up cho or choosing something that didn't have as much uh, color in it I just wanted the that rug is just so freaking cool that's why I chose it it's just black and white but <laughs> it doesn't like distract it's pretty cool um, anyways and then we had another little cubby space here so I put a computer because you can never have enough computers in the sims because your sims live to compute and yeah and then over here this is just the rest of that empty space I added in a bookshelf and I think like a plant over there but uh, this is the office it's right next to the bedroom or bathroom sorry and uh, I went for a very interesting color scheme, something that I would never do before. I went, I definitely chose to go the dangerous route on this one and not the safe route because I chose like a, uh, an orange. And not a lot of people like orange. I, I am one of those people that doesn't really like orange, but I chose orange. Uh, I was feeling, I was feeling crazy. So uh, that's, that's what I did. And uh, I like it. I don't know. I, I feel, I feel very good about my decision. So I definitely was like, a little scared but I had to had to go through a few wallpapers to find one that didn't look weird with the orange I, I mean I chose orange but that one looked um, better the other one looked kind of peachy this one definitely screams hey I'm orange so uh, yeah I really like it though it's different and this is a very odd shape for an office it's very like narrow but eh, it's okay Oop, and my virus thingy is popping up. I need to get rid of that. Okay, there we go. I was like, I can't see the video. But anyways, this is the other bedroom that is downstairs. It is like the teal blue kind of bedroom. And it's very cool. It's like very, very simple. There's not a whole lot going on in this room because it's pretty small. But um, I, again, I, I don't know. The smaller the rooms are in The Sims, like the more cozy they are to me and the more I can really like, I, can, I feel like I can do with it because there's not a whole lot of empty space. And I don't know, I like that. 
I do, I dig it. And I don't really like to use ceiling lights in The Sims 4. If you haven't noticed, I'm pretty into my lamps and my wall lights because uh, the ceiling lights, they just stick out too much. And you can see all of them all the time and they, it just bothers the life out of me. I hate it. I hate having to see them all the time. And I've really been into those little clothes on the wall things. Yeah, okay. And, uh... Yeah, I was going to say, I think I changed that wallpaper because that was just blinding to my eyeballs. My corneas were going to die. And uh, this is actually upstairs. I didn't do anything to the downstairs I was going to, but that changed my mind. So I made this little like sitting area. And when you walk up the stairs, we had like a really big space, so I put that there. And um, that little side or that little like piece, you see those like four horizontal windows and see how they're like not matching on the side. Like, does anyone's, is anyone's OCD like going crazy I added like a little um little square wall on the right side to make sure that those windows were like equal it it doesn't make any sense I know but I think it, uh, there might be a picture there might be a picture I'm not actually sure but it's okay if you download the house you can see I promise and um I had like some weird glitch with the columns on the outside that was holding up this that little like box um because I used move objects because the plants were really close to the columns but like it obviously doesn't have anything to do with anything like it's not gonna mess up your gameplay so it like the, the columns are disappearing but then I tried it again I like tried to like I, I don't know I changed something and it seemed to be working so I don't know the columns might be missing but um you can I mean you can just put them back with move objects it really doesn't affect anything so um yeah hopefully they're still there though because I tried to fix it so this is a little kitchen the kitchen is upstairs which is a little bit different but I actually saw that in a photo that I was looking at um, when I was trying to get inspiration to build and uh, this is what like I was like ooh it's upstairs that's different and I went for this like pretty relaxing like light blue color in the kitchen because in the dining room I went for something a little more crazy uh, something that I would normally not ever do but the kitchen is very white very minimalistic and uh, yeah I kept it very simple in the kitchen because like I said the dining room is gonna be a little bit crazy so the dining room is going to be a purple color Yes, purple. I know, it's weird, but I was uh, feeling crazy. But uh, the chairs, I, I saw the chairs, and that's what like really sparked my my want for purple. And uh, I found this like really pretty dark purple right here. Really, really, really pretty color. I would definitely use that for a bedroom. I have to remember to do that sometime. And uh, yeah, I like the purple. I think it looks very relaxing. Um, my old bedroom was purple, and it, let me tell you, it was so effing relaxing, dude. It was so relaxing. Every time I walked in there, I was like so chill. It was so zen. But uh, yeah. And then on the walls, I ended up doing something so weird. I like, I'm not even sure if I like it. I don't know like okay I put these three forks here and I like changed the colors of them and then on the other side I used like all of those like metal wall decorations like at once and like size them up different sizes I don't know this it looks totally random on this wall I'm not even sure if I 100% am okay with it but I don't know I just wanted something weird in on the wall and so that was weird enough for me and then right here is going to be a really really girly kid bedroom or like maybe if you were just like a teenager and really into kid things I don't know it's definitely more for kids but I could see myself living in this room like let's be real here but um what I didn't notice was that this was a right in the front of the house so like those three huge windows that you see those are shining through this this room right here so when you're looking at the house from the outside you see this room and it looks really really silly because it's like this really girly pink room right in the center of the house and it looks kind of funny from the outside but it's okay it's not that big of a deal but um yeah i had a lot of fun with all the little like teddy bears and stuff because they're just so cute and i always forget to use them so i was pretty excited to throw those in so it's a very very pink and i use these like giant lantern nightlight thingies i think those are pretty pretty cool i've never used them before i was trying to explore with a little rainbow giraffe and uh putting in some lights so it's not super dark and then on the wall here, I was going to put those, like, star things, but I ended up not liking it very much, so I put that giant tree there. And then um, I had a lot of fun, like, sizing up things and kind of just placing things randomly. And, um, yeah, I can't... Okay, I was like, I'm pretty sure that was it. Why are we still here? But in this room, I it's... This room is probably my favorite bedroom, and it has this, like, olive green color, which I, I know is, like, not everyone's favorite color in the whole world but I actually really like it so it 
I don't know. It tickles my fancy. But um, I... I don't know. This room was like the most fun for me because I have like those little the little wardrobe section over there with the mirror and the little ottoman to sit on. And then the dress there looks really cool because it's like perfectly fit in that little cubby hole. So yeah, I don't know. I really, really like this room and then it has like the little balcony and stuff. So it's pretty cool. And I was going to put chairs and stuff out on the balconies for your sims to sit on, but I just thought it looked a little bit weird from the outside. So I just left them kind of bare. You can change it if you want. There's definitely room out there to do a lot of stuff, so uh, yeah. But I, I just kept it kind of bare because I was like, mm, I don't know. It just looked a little weird to me. And uh, yeah, I just left that little that little part of the, the build open for y'all. And then I put one of the clocks on the wall because guys, I really like clocks. And I don't realize how much I like clocks until I see one and then I'm like, man, that clock is cool. Because like, I don't know. I, I'm I'm pretty old-fashioned when it comes to clocks. Like I like there, I like for there to be clocks on the wall for me to just look at. Like I don't always look at my phone. Um, but yeah. Oh, and here's that bathroom. Okay, so that freaking bathtub rocks my whole world, and I want one. I want one so bad. But you can see me going um, up and down, like looking at the downstairs bathroom. And like I said, I wasn't going. I wasn't going to do black, but then I saw that that tub had black and gold, which I love gold. Okay, I am obsessed with gold. My room right now is white and gold, and it's just, oh, it's totally rocking my world. But, um, so yeah, once I saw that, I was, like, totally inspired by, like, the bathtub to do, I, I was inspired by a bathtub. That's a little odd. But yeah, I was, and it, it, I was just, oh, just totally rocks my world, guys. I love gold. Oh, I'm so obsessed with gold. It's just sad how obsessed I am with gold. Oh, but, um, yeah. Yeah, so obsessed with the, 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 the words are not mouth and mouth functioning but yeah okay anyways back to my bathtub here or my bathroom but yeah you can see me going back and forth i chose the same wallpaper and the same flooring because it just looked so well everything flowed so nicely i really like the black guys like i'm definitely feeling like i'm gonna want a black bathroom in my future home but anyways now for pictures so that is it i hope you guys enjoy this really really cool like modern speed build i am pretty proud of this i really like it it's definitely one of my favorite builds that I've done before, and um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye, everyone!